So the race that stops the whole of Australia next in, it's the Melbourne Cup from Flemington. And there's a massive field for this, as you can see, there'll be some hard luck stories on the bends. But it's bound to be an absolute thrill. I'm disappointed I haven't got one in it this year. At the top, the Soria Beata for Paul Rhodes, Reno Response for Vinnie Gerard, Fauson Lenore and Rake Ross for David Robertson, Charming Princess David Hooley, Unilite Craig Allen, Nine Lives, Joshua Sutherland, King at Night, Leon Van Rensburg, October Bay. Graham Clutterbuck has also got Baltic October, Miramir Patrick Hogan, Punto Rasso, Darren Thompson, Lakeland Highlands, Darren Thompson, Dilemma Paul Rhodes, Secret Plans, Leon Van Rensburg, Bobby Soxer, jo John Morgan, Quality Street, David Hooley, Diamond Jubilee, Craig Beckwith, Slarty Bartfast, Padraig Hogan, Hidden Stats, Craig Allen, Bosco Briggs, Joshua Sutherland, and Harlem Roar and Blood Braid for Stu Gray. 23 then in the Melbourne Cup. And they're all installed, ready to go. And away they go. And the two Stoke, Stu Gray horses who both got terrible draws. Well, the chances of that are both slowly away. But Hidden Stance was out fairly quickly. And they're starting to sort themselves out through the first furlong or two. And uh, right over on the far side, Illusoria Beata, that known front runner, has come through to challenge for the lead. But October Bay is up there for Graham Clutterbuck, who likes these long distance races. So October Bay is in front. Illusoria Beata is in second. Faust on the Northern Grey is third, and then Baltic October four. Then comes Blood Braid, who's made up for that slow start and has managed to get himself into a more mid-division sort of position rather than stuck too wide on the track. David Hooley's horse is really wide at the moment. And looking towards the back, Bobby Sox has got to go past everything. But it's Illa Soria Beata who leads the Melbourne Cup field down the straight for the first time. And they come past the pack stands. They'll come past the winning post shortly, then swing out left-handed for a full circuit of the track. And Illa Soria Beata for Paul Rhodes leads the Melbourne Cup field. October Bay is in second, and then Baltic October is third. Busker Briggs is four, and Faust on the north five. Blood Braid is six, and then Reno Response, and Punto Rasso, and then Unilite, and Miramir, and Charming Princess, and King at Night, and Slarty Barfast, and Lakeland Highlands. Then comes Highland Roar, and King at Night. Ray Ross is after that one. Hidden stance towards the back, also towards the back. Bobby Soxer and Nine Lives Secret Plans is also out the back, and I think Dilemma might be the back marker. So it might be first and last for Paul Rhodes at the moment. I wonder if he was tempted to put Looney Tunes in this, but it's Illusoria Beata in the lead from October Bay in second. Then comes Faust on Lenore in third, Baltic October, Busker Briggs, then Blue Blood Braid, who's running a big race for Stu Gray. After that one is Reno Response, then Unilite and Miramir, but they're quite well strung out in Illusoria Beata. Who stays the trip is clear in the lead by two lengths to October Bay in second. Busker Briggs going well in third. Baltic October four. Then Faust on Lenore and Reno response. Punto Rasso after that one. Then Miramir, Charming Princess the Grey on the rail. Two Greys on the inside. David Robertson's Faust on Lenore and about fourth being chased by Charming Princess for David Hooley. And Leon Van Rensburg's secret plans has been pulled up at the back. So that one's out of it. And it's Illusoria Beata in front. Illusoria Beata with a little more than five furlongs to go. In the Melbourne Cup, leads by a length to Busker Briggs in second. Faust on the Northern Greys third. Then come the Octobers, Baltic and Bay. Then Ponto Rasso, Miramir, wide on the track. And Reno response, Blood Brain is still there as well. Looking towards the back, Ray Ross is now the back marker. But it's still Illusoria Beata. Four to go in the Melbourne Cup. And it's Illusoria Beata in the lead. From Busker Briggs in second. Reno response is now charging up the centre of the track. And then Nine Lives is getting into it. Slarty Bart fast going with a run. Charming Princess the Grey is still there as well but it's still in a Soria Beata in a Soria Beata from Reno Response and Charming Princess then Slarty Barfast Bosca Briggs and Faust on the north still trying to get into it as well past the two they go in a Soria Beata now being taken by Reno Response and Reno Response for Vinnie Girard it's the front it's Reno Response from Charming Princess in second Reno Response by two lengths in the final furlong it's Reno Response from Charming Princess here comes Faust on the north with a renewed challenge but they're not going to get to Reno Response Reno Response Inside the final half foot and Reno Response is going to take the cup off towards the line. Reno Response wins the Melbourne Cup from Charming Princess and Faust on the North Nine Lives. And then lately in October and Hidden Stance and all the way back to Blood Braid. It was the last one to finish and Vinnie Gerard takes the Melbourne Cup with Reno Response. The favourite provides plenty of joy for favourite backers with a thrilling victory. And the two greys chased him home, but Reno Response wins it for Vinnie Gerard, Charming Princess, David Hooley second, Faust on Lenore, 
David Robertson third, Nine Lives Joshua Sutherland fourth, and Lakeland Hollands Darren Thompson fifth. And our first five home all fillies and mares. The first finishing colt was King at night for Leon Van Rensburg, who finished sixth. The draw didn't seem to make too much of a difference. Reno Response was drawn 12 and managed to win. Nine Lives was fourth from 21, and Lakeland Highlands was fifth from 16. So Reno Response then takes the Melbourne Cup for Vinnie Gerrard.